Look at all these goals. We got so many goals. We got double tap goals. We got dribble goals. We got bumping goals. We got zero second goals. We got so many great RLCS goals. It was all great. The crowd, the casters, the players, the goals. How can we possibly do a top 10? They were all so great. Let's just divide them up into categories and then pick the best one. That's right, Sunless Con here. Today, we're gonna relive some of the best moments from the RLCS World Championship in London. Let's do it. Let's start off with some good old double touches. Justin had the best rookie performance in RLCS history by far. And this is a great little example. He does it again! Only his third shot of this finals. And what a shot it was! This is a great sign here for the Chiefs. Ripley takes it all the way up the wall before clearing next to the ceiling. A follow up. I think the Chiefs proved to everyone how much the OCE has improved, making it to day three for the first time ever. The middle. There's nobody from Evil Geniuses challenging this ball. G2 had a really disappointing land despite this sick angle from Rizzo. Under the backboard, rub to G. Nice zone on JNAPS, but doesn't matter. Rizzo finds a way. All the attention on JNAPS out in the front. They forgot about Rizzo. What a god. You are on fire, Rizzo. Dropping that one down. Diva. Justin wasn't the only rookie making an impact, though. Goes for the double tap. His eye ignite shows a little taste of what he's capable of. Envy gets their two goal lead. That is your dagger from the rookie eye ignite. Coming. But in terms of double touch goals, I think Magnus takes the cake here. Let a lot get the shot now off the backboard again. Magnus, where did he come? Just the way he came along the back wall there and somehow found a way to place that in the back of the net. Wow. What a play from Magnus. Next, let's look at some of the fun stuff. Bumps. He made actually isn't gonna win that. So instead he goes for the aerial bump. Oh, oh look no. at what? that! What? Evil Geniuses really surprised everyone by knocking out Fairy Peak and Renault Vitality. And it was pretty clear the bumping was part of their game plan. The handbrake on that one too just will not be. And Cloud9 finished in fourth place, thanks to great plays like this mid-air bump. Will be locked in for Cloud9. Mid-air bump! Gimmick! Makes it 2-0! you doing on this aerial squishy gets that midfield boost immediately turns around and instead of going for the oh. ball he bumps him out of the play like an aimbot are you kidding me now garrett looking for fire burner oh my goodness fire burner is a wrecking ball sniping turbo pulsar out of the air Next, we got two noteworthy mind fakes. After faking going up the wall, Kadap makes an incredible infield pass here. Demolished a momentary 2v3, oh. and Turbo's gonna find it. The quick, clean, methodical play. Kadap with the mind game of the tournament here. All oh, his delay here calls off the defender. Chrome, he doesn't know what to do. Meanwhile, Garrett G became the leading goal scorer in all of our LCS, while leading energies run to the finals thanks to goals like this. from Devo, but as soon as it's one on one, he does what he does best. Next, let's look at one of my favorite categories, passing plays. And the shot coming. First, we have a lot doing a lot of things. Trick for the <laughs> a lot is just running away with it. I mean, that's five goals for him. Five goals for the ball. One of the biggest reasons Dignitas is so good is their amazing and movement in passing. passing play. Look at this backboard positioning from Turbo. Yeah, you can see he actually just goes for that, up first, that first touch there. He also affects a 50-50 here. You can see Crush the G, the Orient. Now Justin, still on the goal line. Bounces back out. Oh! No! No way! You cannot defend that! Evo off the wall in time. Torsos now up towards the net. Can he find the shot? The pass back oh. down to Torsos. What a beautiful play from Chiefs. Drippe, the absolute creativity, you monster bringing this one back. And it's Torsos, the man of the hour to finish it off. This quick one-two in the air from Cloud9 was pretty great as well. Long clear, he's actually got it straight over. There's another person around, into the net! What? Cloud9, you are insane! How was anyone even up for this gimmick? Finding Squishy Muffins, who drops that straight back down. He's able to put it under both Complexity defenders. And of course, Complexity shows off some of their great chemistry with a one-two of their own. Tries to get it over. You pass to me, I'll pass it back, and 
you will score. In these high pressure situations, you'll always see people not know which option to go for. Next, let's check out some dribbling plays. gets the flick. These are especially noteworthy because dribble and air dribble goals are much more rare in 3v3. The solo plays from Turbo Pulsa. A lot going for the demolition. Metanaris. Angle hold that NRG has them in. But now Vina Panda. He's got it over the tap of absolutely everyone. One at a time. He caught them out of position. Garrity left with no. You can play either side of the field. Kadok wants to go the whole way. Oh my goodness. Watch in awe. And this goal is just Keep coming on, but in its own category. NRG was taking the bait. Devo up high. That is going to drop down five. But it will not Some be crazy Devo backboard incredible. inside Doomsy Dish. Are you kidding me, Devo? That's right. Devo basically Devo. created a new incredible. type of goal. So many questions about we are not worthy. Next, we have ceiling shots. One of the flashiest and most exciting ways to score in Rocket League. Do not allow any time to remain on the clock as Garrett looks for the ceiling shot and he is gonna bury it! You give him the space and he'll make you pay. Steals the mid boost as well, that's gonna slow down Team Dignitas who are now on the defensive. Still zero goes, oh no! This shot by Garrett G just shows the amazing creativity, technical skill, quick thinking and recovery. After sort of getting bumped into the ceiling, he recovers and somehow finds the goal with power from this insane angle. In fact, I think that was probably the best goal of the tournament. And of course, nothing thrills the crowd like a zero second goal. And in terms of zero second goals, this tournament uh, definitely delivered. Jake leaves a thing. He does it work. Squishy gets the read. The buzzer beater. We go to overtime. Squishy pushes his ball towards the middle and towards us. Looking to put this off the sidewall here. He oh. accidentally hits that corner and it bounces perfectly for Squishy. Now all the way back up. They have to keep this one alive. A lot's going to keep following. He does get a oh. touch. Gonna be hunted right now. Turbo wanted to get a hold of it, but Justin, silky smooth, escaping. Taking this the entire Justin. lane. Is this one more opportunity for NRG? It's gonna be off the backboard. Turbo not there in time. Go NRG! Take their first game of the bracket reset. The carry from Justin, the set from Fireburner, and the placement from Garrett G. Final Panda puts it the long way. Justin keeps it alive. Turbo pulls it there. Bounces into the corner. NRG still around. Justin is there for the shot. Justin! Justin! This is Rocket League! All right, maybe, maybe that was the best goal of the tournament. See, this is why I didn't do a top 10. And finally, we got to show the last and most important goal, Turbo Pulsa's game-winning Game 7 overtime shot, making Dignitas the world champions. World champion. So those are some of my favorite moments from an insane weekend that really showed peak Rocket League, how exciting the game could be as an eSport. Let me know what you think was the best goal of the tournament and maybe what goals I missed. Of course, don't forget to double tap that subscribe button, even though that would actually subscribe you and then unsubscribe you.